What is up guys, Silver Warrior here, and today what I'm going to be discussing is what silver you should buy when starting your stack, and I think the title is pretty self-explanatory, but basically I am referring to somebody who has a bit of an auxiliary income, has a bit of savings to put into silver, but has never actually bought a single piece of silver yet, so they have no stack whatsoever, but they want to make a purchase. That's who this is for. This is not for somebody who's extremely wealthy. This video is more so for somebody who has a little bit of money to spend on silver, but definitely needs to make their dollar go as far as they can. So, that being said, the answer to, at least in my opinion, what you should buy is really quite simple, and that is going to be generic silver. The reason for this is quite simple. Generic silver can take your dollar farther than pretty much any other type. It has a very low premium on it. It's also very simple to buy. The only real risk with it is encountering a fake silver bar. However, if you're not buying from some shady online dealers or some random person you met in real life at some yard sale who has some silver for sale, you should be good in that department. Obviously, as a beginner, you're not going to be able to necessarily tell the signs of a fake piece of silver. Furthermore, nobody knows every single generic bar ever produced and is going to be able to look at a generic bar and say, oh, well, this is the flaw that they had in faking this. It's simply impossible. There are so many small private companies that produced silver bars at some point generically, and therefore you're not going to be able to just pick one up and tell. So that's why I definitely recommend buying it from a reputable online dealer because you really don't want your first silver purchase to be a fake one. You don't want any to be a fake one, but you don't want your stack to be started with a fake piece of silver. That is just really be really devastating, and it would really probably put most people off the silver stacking because they want to get into it, and that's how they get into it, is by being scammed. So definitely do everything you can to avoid being scammed, and when buying generic, you know, low-premium, smaller pieces of silver, the scams... They exist, but with reputable dealers, nothing should be able to slip in into their own inventory. Now, with that being said, you are going to have to pay a little bit more than if you really looked long and hard. But I think paying that couple extra cents an ounce for the security of knowing that you're guaranteed real silver is a pretty fair trade-off. Now, all things, you know, put aside here. I definitely still think that even though you're dealing with generic silver, there's still a good variety of stuff in terms of different weights of bars or, you know, the difference between bars and rounds, all those different things. And even you can get uh, coins with numismatic value for really cheap as well, such as the American Silver Eagle, which speaking of, I think is a very strong way. If you can afford a whole tube, then that is amazing. Because starting off your stack with a 20 ounce tube of Silver Eagles is a very, very good thing to do. Now, not obviously not everyone can afford that. But even if you can just afford like five of them, I definitely say go that route. If you want to get into something even a little bit lower premium or just bars, if you prefer the look of bars, maybe start with a 10 ounce bar. Maybe start with a 5 ounce bar. Uh, I think that you are going to save a little bit of money buying a 5 ounce bar over 5 1 ounce bars. But the difference isn't so extraordinary that... If you'd rather have more pieces in your stack, that buying, you know, the one ounce bars is going to be that much of a detriment to you. The difference might be a couple dollars, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of variety still within generic silver. It's not the most interesting thing in the world, but at the same time, it is simply the way that you should start your stack. I mean, that is going to be the safest thing, the easiest thing, and the best introduction to silver for any new collector. You can't be expecting it into silver and a month later be a millionaire. Okay? That's not how silver works. Most people are never going to make that much money from silver. You know, especially a generic bullion, you're buying as insurance. And if you're going into silver thinking of it as the same way as cryptos, where there's going to be this huge explosion then you need to turn back around and walk out of it before you make any dumb decisions and buy any silver because that's not how silver works. It is a very, very stable investment. And when buying bullion, like I recommended, you are just going to be insuring your wealth in a sense. You're just taking your dollars that are slowly losing value and 
putting it into an asset that does not lose value over time like that. And the silver does fluctuate, but as the dollar goes down, silver is going to become worth more of those less valuable dollars. That's how inflation works. Silver is going to become more expensive because the dollar is going to be worth less. But therefore, you can actually sell the, that silver later on and get more dollars back. And even though the dollars are worth less, you, since you're getting more of them, it makes up for it. It's really just a means of ensuring your wealth, of in a sense, I guess, you know, almost storing money in the bank with like really no interest, but also without the risk, of course, of the bank's collapsing because you have hold the silver in your hand. Um, and then as you the, get more into it, like, yeah, so are going to be ways to make money, like, you know, coins like this, for example, if you can get them for good prices, you can make money on them and things like this. I mean, this is a huge, you know, toner coin. And if you don't know what toning is, it's basically tarnish on the coin, but if it occurs naturally in a coin such as this where it's straight graded shows you it did at least in the grading company's opinion occur naturally then there is money in that to in an uh, investor or a collector they're going to see that and it's going to be very appealing to them but as a new collector you really shouldn't be worrying about that you should just be worrying about starting a foundation for your stack that you can build upon over the years so with that being said I do hope you enjoyed the video. I really do hope it helped you. Please, if you have any comments, or I should say any questions that you feel I did not answer in this video, leave them in the comments. If someone has a really good question and you know I had to um, answer that, then obviously I will pin that question because it is something that I feel a lot of people are wondering. So yeah, please do though. Definitely feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below because. I will be very happy to answer them for you. And with that being said, peace, love, and much respect.